All right, in this clip, I want to go over how to show show you guys how to set up your baseline grids. So first thing I need to do is I need to start off with a new document. So we'll start off with a new document. Uh, we'll go ahead and make this one facing pages. Shouldn't really matter in here. Uh, I want to change more options. I want to always use our standard bleed size, 0 0 0.125 IN for inches since I haven't got my measurements change there and that should update all of those so we got a couple pages in here let's use let's make some new pages here got some new pages with the pages palette and we want to take a look at two pages together so the purpose of the baseline grid is to align your documents so you can see what's happening in here so First thing I want to do is I mean want to make a text box using the text tool, type tool. Got a text box here, and we want to change and make two columns in this. So we're going to go to Object, Text Frame Options, and that will allow us to change the number of columns to two. We can also update the gutter measurements in here get those set the way we want. Now I like to work in inches so um, won't really matter you should be able to use the grids either way but I'm going to change my measurements over to inches I prefer to work in inches here. So we've got our inches set up, we've got a text box with multiple columns um, we can even make a, a second box here link these boxes together and we've got multiple boxes so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna enter in some text and we're gonna use filler text so we're gonna go to the type fill with placeholder text and that will give us our lorem ipsum okay. so if we look at that one of the biggest things that you need to do before prior to setting up your grids is you need to check what size font you want to work with. So typically you're going to set that default font size to whatever it is. You would like to set that before you set up your baseline grid. Um, by default it's set up for 12 so we're going to switch that to 11 point and what we want to take note of is our letting. Okay, If you see the letting right there it's 13.2. We're going to remember that. We're going to need that number a little bit later. Okay. Um, my margins are half inch margins, we'll point that out here in a minute. But what we're going to do is we're going to make these baselines not line up. So how I did that is I made a, a graphic box here and we're going to turn our text wrap on. So if we go to t window and text wrap, we'll get the text wrap window, the floating palette, excuse me. With that box selected, we want to turn the runaround on by clicking that icon. And what that enables is the text to run around that box. It pushes the text away from it. Okay, before the text just flowed freely, if we put a photo in there, it's going to be covered up. But we want to turn the text trap on. And we can actually adjust that if we needed to. But you notice that the baselines, the bottom of these text lines are not matching up. Okay. So that's something you don't want to happen in your want to see in your layouts. Uh, that will get you kicked out of your interview or basically out of the running for your job. So that's something that editors, art directors, people that are hiring and know what to look for can see right off the bat. So we want to fix that so that all the baselines line up. And depending on where that picture is wrapped to or where that text is forced to go will depend on where that goes. So tediously we could line it up by arrowing and other things. But that's what the baseline grid aligning to a baseline grid is for. So earlier we took note of what that size was, 13.2. So we want to align these up. We want our picture to be here, but we want our baselines to line up. So the way that's done is if you go to end design, preferences, and grids, you can bring that up. And here, 
it has increment every 12 point. Well, when we looked at that, we measured the leading at 13.2. We'll make sure it's points. And that's what we want it to measure to. So when we click OK, nothing happens yet because we have to tell this paragraph to align to that grid. So we set our baseline grid, we highlight our text, and then we can apply the baseline grid. So we're going to look for the paragraph palette, window, type, paragraph, and we'll click on this icon right here to line it to the baseline grid. And everything lines up where we should be set. That's how you set up your baseline grid. Um, and you'd want to do that before, like I said, you'd want to find out what letting you're going to use so you can set up your baseline grid.